Yeah. The referee's awarded the try, and it's first blood to, to Bromsgrove. As you said, different midfield, but they've they've bust through the middle there. All of the backs running hard from depth at pace. They get around the corner, and then nice hands from the forwards here. Both second rows drawing, giving, and the hooker. And then again, what we saw in the last game, lovely finish. Did he get there? Yeah, yeah, I think he does. And Cooper yeah. Bent. Yeah, lovely <laughs> finish from Cooper Bent. It's a big kick. <laughs> and that is a superb, superb effort. Yeah, you can see Wickgift aren't going to jump. They're either going to sack it when they land or they're all just going to absolutely fly in and blitz it and hit it as hard as they can, which is what they've done. Now they must keep that on. That's excellent from Whitgift, but can they rearrange quickly enough? The answer is no. Here come Bronzegrove. Beck cutting in his red and white scrum cap has got the ball at the back of that driving mall. Here he goes. Weehee brings him down and disrupts play well. George James, he's been lively early on. Very much so. He's got good feet with George James. Ferguson inside. That's a big, big carry from Tom Ford, the captain. And it looks like the hooker, Henry Walker, who has had an absolutely terrific opening 15 minutes. He's has been, got the second try of the game. He's been outstanding, um, not just by his carrying still, he's putting a lovely inside pass then, I think, to the number eight, Tom Ford. It was a so good wicked tackle, the captain, but then the power just ball. keeps coming at you and you just can't make enough tackles at the time. And then Henry Walker's just gone out from a yard. You're not going to stop him from there. But again, nice play here. George James uses his feet, gets in behind. What's well, good to see the speed that they recycle the ball. They get down, the ball it works really hard on the floor there, presents the ball lovely. And look at this lovely little pass there from the hooker inside. Tom Ford, a natural successor for the captaincy with the news this week that uh, Alex Nisbet is injured. And here's George Whitton, who was on the bench last year. Really stamping his authority, two beautiful conversions. Whitgift digging deep, needing to defend like they have done so well throughout this whole competition. They're pressing up hard, but there could be space here now on the left-hand side. Joe Morris, oh, it was a wonderful bit of skill with one hand by Cooper Bent and Bromsgrove are edging closer to the Whitgift line. Hold the line. Thank you. Wooten. Tom Ford takes the ball in. Wooten on the blind side again. Tackle eight. Joe no Hunt. two. Whitgift nearly getting there, nearly disrupting. Five, hold, hold. On the so, line. so patient, great, great composure here. They're just so well organised, they know what they're doing, they're not panicking. But fair play to Whitgift, they're not conceding any penalties, they're great chop tackles. Santos has made about three tackles in three minutes. Wooten, Taylor, little dummy again, good defence. Sam Morley has done fantastically well there for, Whit for Whitgift, and again, just a little bit of disruption, just makes the play a little bit longer for Bromsgrove, but here come the big runners. Walker, it's probably his 13th carry, the first half already. Blake Edwards, try. Well, terrific team. With an excellent goal kicker as well. So they, they really don't have many weaknesses. A lovely position with that forward pack. Um, I think if they score here, it's looking ominous for Whitgift. Western soars into the air, commanding the players in around him. And this unstoppable force is moving into a fantastic wow. field position. They're now right in the middle. And the Whitgift defence is completely split. There's just no rush to get the ball out at all. It's now in the hands 
of the scrum half. And here it comes. Another Could have been another opportunity for a, an interception there. They do well to wrap up. Christophe Fostier. Here is Lloyd Jones, the number six and how much he wants to be at the Twickenham final. He played this fixture last year, the semi-final, and picked up an injury and therefore was not part of the first 15 that went on to lift the trophy. He must be more determined than anyone to get onto the field at Twickenham. Yeah, awful for a young player to get injured in a semi or leading up to the final at Twickenham. So really great that A, that he's got on the score sheet there and it's looking more and more likely that he's going to be playing at Twickenham in a couple of weeks. So a little, there's a little knock on that. Referee playing advantage. There's a hand in. Advantage over. They're still going, cutting to Walker. And here he is, Cooper Bent for his second try. And like you said, this is starting to look a little bit ominous now. And the quality of this Bromsgrove team is shining through. They're just doing the basics really well, really quickly. A couple of minutes to half time. Whitkift almost need a clean slate here. They need to try and say, like, let's defend now. Let's, let's not let Bromsgrove over the line before half time so they can get in and listen to their coach Chris Wilkins and see what he's got to say but once again this is looking incredibly try. ominous and it's a second try for the open side flanker Harry Lloyd-Jones like we've had a substitution. Jack Weston is on for Bromsgrove. Looks like he's come on for Joe Morris. Try score in the first half. Not the start that Chris Wilkins would have been looking for from his team. Um, the kickoff, I think they dropped the ball, it went into touch. You give lineouts against this Bronze, Bronze but they just look uber confident. In, oh, Whitgift have gone. Not going to take the line out, they've gone at them. Chris Wilkins carrying to the end. Diaz Alwin. He's a powerful, stocky fella. He's doing well since he's come on. Here's a Jay. Oh, he's won. <laughs> he's done absolutely brilliantly in the finest of spaces. And that is one of the finishes of the day. Outstanding finish. He's given the crowd something to cheer about. Um, super finish. Again, they've, they've hit it up hard. 43 points to five. It was <laughs> An absolutely brilliant, lovely, lovely hands from Sid Holland, the captain. He's starting to make a real impact in this game. Gets round, one, two defenders, and then the little somersault to finish. That's like you and your old days, isn't it? <laughs> I was just rolling over. To set up the substitute, and out comes the ball. Um, has there been a better man on the pitch than that man today? I'm not too sure. Henry Walker carrying to the bitter end. Lovely offload from Beck Cutting. And it looks like the second row might be in. Lawrence Weston gets a try. Again, a cracking try. It's almost as if like Whitgift score and then Bromgrove for the ring right. Come on, let's go up again. Let's prove that we're the better team here. From the scrum, they go wide, um, look after the ball, then come back wide again. Walker's just absolutely sensational, whether he was in close or out wide. And then what an offload that is. Absolutely superb offload from Beck Cutting. As we said, these England boys, it really looks promising for the national side in the future with the quality of these youngsters. Like, they're not just trucking up, they're using their brains, they're using their handling skills. Um, and now we have um, Tom Ford, the number eight, even goal kicking. Rubbing salt into the wound. <laughs> Dinks it. Well, that's, that's quite a cute little conversion from the number eight. Zabrut would have been proud. Here we go. Fitzpatrick 
his captain called him the joker of the pack, the man needed to lift morale in a huddle. And he's certainly playing with gusto here in these closing moments. He doesn't want his pride dented at all. Sam Morley continuing on to the bitter end. Every breakdown is a scrap and they've won a penalty. Yeah, again, great to see Whitgift really going up, not giving up. What they're going to do, going to tap, go, yeah. Sam Morley, off right he goes. Decision. Number 10, he's seen a little gap and he's got there. Brilliant character from Whitgift, this school. The fans run down from the stands in celebration. And we just see Whitgift running out here. Here's Ferdinand, the man that made that break. Whitgift going to the end. They were, we knew they were a fit team, and they're really showing it now. Yep, Crom Cromsgrove. Yeah, the, you know. And he's through again. Here they come. Good break. Here comes Alex Hogg. Such a direct, powerful runner. And he, they're struggling to take him down. That is a fantastic run from the inside centre. They're really spurred on by this crowd. Again, fantastic break by Morley. Hogg on his shoulder. And they've got an overlap if they can use it now. Morley. Donnelly. Inside step. That is class. Lovely try. Lovely try. From the... Henry Walker has been fantastic for Bromsgrove amongst many, many good performances. I think he deserves the man of the match today. Yeah, he started that under-18 Premiership final. And you can really see that class throughout today. But it's enough of that because Whitgift are putting... They want to be remembered for something, this Whitgift team. And they're going to be remembered for doing the shirt proud as they surge forward into the Bromsgrove... Eight hands. Half. And Bromsgrove won't want to finish like this. They won't, won't want this to be the last memory before that Twickenham final. No, very much so. And what Hogg and Morley have just led this fight back. But what it will do, it will give Queggs a lot more confidence that it's actually, if you play, as, as we said, against this eight. Bromsgrove team, you've got to take it to them. You can't just grind out the match. And that's what Whitgift have done in this last, or right, most of the second half. They've taken it to them. They've James, back foot, made back foot. Bromsgrove defend attack wide and uh, Morley and Hogg have been brilliant at 10 and 12 and they've shown as you've just said they've shown go. that you can score against them that is a brilliant try it's an emphatic win for Bromsgrove but Whitgift have done themselves incredibly proud